Johnny. You're still afraid. Stop it now. I mean it. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be talking about my top five episodes of Doctor Who. So here we go. Um, I'm just going to list five of my favorites. I will be including one episode of classic Doctor Who, and the rest will be for modern Who. So here we go. Episode 5 is going to be... Or, sorry. <laughs> Number 5 is going to be The Five Doctors, which was released in 1983. This is the only episode of Doctor Who, the, the classic Who, that I will be putting on this list. <clears throat> so, The Five Doctors was released in 1983, and for the first time ever, uh, it I think it was the... 20th year anniversary special of the series and so it had all of the doctors meet with the exception of Tom Baker. Tom Baker did not want to return for this special so uh, technically this is the four doctors special but they just decided to call it the five doctors. That would have been really cool if Tom Baker would have returned. I would have loved to see that. But this was a really good episode. It involved all of the doctors meeting on Gallifrey. They were all uh, kidnapped and taken to Gallifrey. Uh, along with Sarah Jane Smith and Barbara Wright, who was the first doctor's daughter, uh, one of his companions. And this was just a great episode. It involved... It involved one of the... Um, uh, one of the Time Lords on Gallifrey trying to get all the Doctors together so he could summon a god or something to give him eternal elixir of life, which... Now thinking about it sounds kind of stupid, but it was put together really well. Okay, so number four is going to be The Parting of Ways, Season 1, Episode 13, which was released in 2005. This is the final episode, an appearance, uh, final appearance of the ninth Doctor, uh, Sylvester McCoy. Or, I'm sorry, not Sylvester McCoy, that's, that's a different Doctor, um... Christopher Eccleston is what I meant to say, which we only got one season with. And this episode was a two-parter. Um, it showed uh, Dal the Daleks coming back and having their invasion of the world. I think they tried to invade the world. I can't exactly remember. It's been a while since I watched this episode. But this was Christopher Eccleston's tearful goodbye and as he regenerated into the Tenth Doctor. And really good episode. Um, I wish we would have got more with him. I think it would have been really cool if we got another season with him. But um, he, uh, he had his moments from the first season. And uh, this certainly was one of them. Okay. Number three is going to be The Wedding of River Song, which is an episode I recently just watched. And it is from Season 6, Episode 13, which was released in 2011. In this episode, some crazy shit happens, because um, time is happening all at once. So, I forgot, it's like, 
time stays the same, and it's always 5.13 or something like that. And that is why uh, Winston Churchill is alive in 2011, and he has the Doctor prisoner, the 11th Doctor. And the Doctor is explaining why all this is happening. And as he's doing that, uh, when he's doing that, we see flashbacks to everything that has happened. And this episode shows us that the Doctor did, in fact, die in that premiere. Um, But he was able to save himself because of... I forget, these these tiny little people who um, are like warriors and they inhabit a they inhabit a body and control it and he was able to put them um, inside of him so that way it would make it look like he was killed by River Song in the impossible planet. Or no, the impossible astronaut. Okay, th- that saying that out loud, that makes absolutely no sense. But <laughs> it it was a good episode, and uh, it ended with um, the doctor marrying River Song, and him faking his own death, and him. Um, yeah, it, it was a good one. I highly recommend it. Uh, the villain. In this, the villains in this episode were the silence, which was really cool. Okay, number two. Number two is going to be the last of the Time Lords, which is. Season 3, episode 13, which was released in 2007. And this showed the... Um... The appearance of the Master, who... Was revealed to be back in the show. And I absolutely love the Master. He's one of my favorite characters in the show. And, um... This was actually a two-part episode because the episode before showed the Master take over the world. And he has been doing that in a ye- for a year. And in this episode, everything is resolved. And the, uh, the Doctor gets out of his prison. And yeah, it was just a really good episode. I liked the way they handled the Master's death. Um, even though it was handled better in the uh, season four uh, finale, which we'll talk about here in a second. Uh, yeah, it was just a really good episode. Absolutely loved the Tenth Doctor and the Master. Awesome characters. Um, oh, God, what was that? Uh, uh, what was one of the companions' name? I think her name was uh, Jones. Um, I can't remember her first name. But yeah, great episode. That's my number two. And my number one, uh, you're probably going to know what it is already because I've already talked about it uh, in my last Doctor Who video, which was what my favorite episode was. And that is The Last of the Time Lords Part 1 and 2, which was released in 2009 as part of the specials. One of, uh, no, the last episode, uh, or two episodes with um, the 10th Doctor. Really, really awesome episode. I'm not going to talk about it a lot. I'm just going to say that I absolutely loved the Master's sacrifice. I I think it was better the way that he died um, in this episode compared to how he died in the Season 3 finale. Um, He comes back and... In the end, he ends up helping the Doctor, and he has, like, a very noble sacrifice. But I don't want to get into everything about all of these episodes, because I really want you guys to watch them. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know your top five episodes of Doctor Who. Bye.